Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging. And it's kind of dark in here, but hold on. I think that'll work. What is the month of November and December without a healing fever blister? I just got rid of this one and this one dried up. It's too much. But at any rate, um, I just wanted to drop in and say hi because I haven't really made any videos lately. What am I going to talk about, ladies and gentlemen? I'm disgusted with humanity for the most part. I love the possums, I love the cats, and I'm working on the game. I did want to show you something kind of cute that Patty gave me. She stopped into work tonight. Good night at work. A uh, guy named Wall Street Greg came in. It was very cute. I'll tell you about him later. But, um, yeah, Patty came by and gave me this ornament. It, <laughs> it's funny. It says 2020. And see, it has toilet paper in it. And then here's what it says on the back. The year the, you know what, got real. Hanging it up on the tree. I should show you the tree. It's adorable. There it is. It's a live one. Joel will plant it and, you know, we'll keep it and everything. So I have a fake one, too, I might put up. I really didn't want to do any of it, but Joel always wants a damn tree. It's kind of silly, but I'll play along with his sick wishes, I suppose. Um... Yeah, I'm a delight tonight, aren't I? Anyhow, Wall Street Greg saw him last week. I think I mentioned to you that I saw him last week when the Santa Claus is coming to town gig took place. Sorry, I'm playing with this. I probably shouldn't be. Um, And, by the way, I wore something goofy in my head. I'll show it to you. I'll go put it on now, and then I'll tell you about Wall Street. Here I am. Yeah, I wore this the whole time at work. I brought that thing I just had in my head just in case I got a headache, which I kind of did, but I... Made it through, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Wall Street Greg. Saw him last week at the, I was going to say parade, the Santa Claus gig. And it was his grandson. I don't know why I thought it was his son. He's older than I am or my age, whatever. Um, He popped in and it was really cute because he sort of stood by the door. He didn't sort of, he did. He had his grandson with him and so he wanted to keep an eye on the grandson. The grandson was in the car. And, you know, the streets of Connie Lake are known for the crime. It's just crime ridden. People are always getting kidnapped and stuff. No, but I understand. You don't want him toddling out of there or something. Not that he's a toddler, but um, whatever. So he just wanted, like, Connie Lake like stuff and what do you have in this and what size is that and comparing, you know, the size shirt I had on to the size his wife might be and all. It was fun. I just zoomed all over the store and helped him out with everything. It was kind of nice. That's the kind of service you get at Now and Again Gift Shop and Boutique located for your convenience on Water Street, Connie at Lake. So, um, yeah. Not only, but I made a... So anyhow, he purchased stuff, and it's the biggest order I've ever filled. I told him so. And we write everything out. She has a, an interesting bookkeeping system. Like, from the moment she produced an item or what have you, uh, like back in the day, a lot of the repurposed stuff was kind of her focus, and then she you know, moved on to some other stuff over the time span. So she started with item number one, and she has it like in these... Regular books like this. Yeah. And then as, you know, you write it down and everything, blah, blah, blah. And then whenever you have time, you go back through the handwritten deals, receipts. And you go in the book and you put a line through so she can match up the MDSE. Make sure no one's ripping her off, ladies and gentlemen. So anyhow, yeah. And then I made Janet her own private video. Totally. It's um, unlisted on YouTube. I'll probably delete it now because she's looked at it, and then I took her on a shopping spree, and she picked out some stuff, and I'll deliver it. Probably tomorrow I am going to go down, um, which brings me to this. I'm working on the corn game. I have a super good start on it right now. I wish I could ask a gazillion questions, but it wouldn't be fair because I really wanted to do 25, but I looked and I noticed I did 30 for Jilly. So we have to be fair now, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? We've never celebrated corn, so he will get 30 questions. It's just difficult to know which ones to ask. He lives in another country, and there's all kinds of fascinating things about him and about the country and just about life and his interests and whatnot. He's a fun person. Corn on Sunday. I'm not even getting hardly any views on the live gigs or really anything else, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I'd whine and moan about it while I have you. But I told Mick about it, and he said everybody's in the same boat. So it's not just me whining and whatnot. Whining and whatnot. Um, what else? Let me pause. Not sure. 
So, um, yeah, open house tomorrow. Now and again, gift shop and boutique located for your convenience on Water Street. 11 to 4 is the open house. Um, I'm just going to go down as a person. No, I'm not like on duty or anything, but I told Amy if she got busy, I could jump in and help because I want to like fill Janet's order, so to speak. I guess that's what it would be called, wouldn't it? And then, you know, get together with her and sew up the details. I'm really excited because my, um, the little, baby food jar deals that I made and that she poured the scented candles into them for five dollars each. They sold all of them. But I there weren't that many on display, honestly, but still they're sold. So she's poured some um non fragrant wax or whatever into those and they'll be given away like as a what would you say? Like a um favor, party favor, I don't know, at the open house. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to finish the corn game. I have a fun question pertaining to Nicholas, but my God, Nicholas, in honor of him, sometimes there's not a lot of stuff available online for a certain thing that you're looking into, believe it or not. So it's an easy one, though. It's You have a 50-50 chance of getting this question right that is a bonus question inspired by Nicholas. That's your clue. I think I'm done, ladies and gentlemen. What else can I say? I have, um, I like to say a hell of a whole lot, a ton but people would clutch pearls and gallop away. You know, I shouldn't really even give a shit if you do. Do if you want to, don't if you don't want to. I mean, you know, this is my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you disagree with one thing I say and you gallop off clutching pearls, then that's more about your character than mine, quite frankly. But at any rate, I looked out the window a while ago and there was ancient, ancient, which means probably four years old, um, Jethro. Looks like he got into a fight. I hope it wasn't with Thomas. He has like a fever blister on his nose. Now he has like a scratch on his nose, totally. Kind of a big one. He's really ancient looking, ladies and gentlemen. You know, someday Thomas will look ancient like that. He already looks older. He's old. Er. You know, because they wrap at age. So he's like eight, nine months old. That's what? Probably 50 years old. I don't think that old. But, um, yeah. I have some things out there for him and blah, blah, blah. What else? Uh, who else? Why else? I guess that's all. Um, yeah. I'm going to let you go. I'll see you. I don't even know if I'll do anything tomorrow. I might. Uh, I'd like to get together with G-Sharp. Get together again with G-Sharp and with Mick. And do a Mondays with Mick or an Oregon, Pennsylvania SOC with G-Sharp. Um, we can't seem to get it together. But it's, you know, that time of the year when people are, I don't know what they're doing this year. But I'm living life to the fullest, ladies and gentlemen. I will not be hampered by insane they're not even mandates, whatever they are. Uh, declarations, decrees by um, stupid governors and whatnot. It's just crazy and highly questionable in terms of legality. Okay, uh, over and out here on Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge rather than after. And remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for this. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. I'll show you that tree one more time. I don't know if it'll be any good in there. And, of course, the toilet paper um, ornament, which I don't even know where I put, is, um, where did I put it? It'll be on there as well. Yeah. We're going to have more ornaments than tree. Bye.